Let me get back a little bit more on this on Jennifer Soto. From early on in the investigation, of course. People all day on that trail sending us photos to see if anything there looks familiar and like her personal belongings and nothing is hers. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure where to go from here. I'm just contacting the news to get the word out, to get some help because I'm desperate. I, I'm i a wreck right now. So you think that she's been taken against her will? I do think so, yes. As a mom, you know, what is your, what's your mother's intuition telling you right now? I'm trying to hope for the best, but I'm just, I'm scared for her. I want her to be okay. I want her to be safe. I don't want, to, I don't want her to come back harm. I, I just, I just want her back. Whatever that means. Just, I just want her back. Are you getting any updates from law enforcement? I mean, yes, they're searching that small area, but have they gotten any hits on any scent or anything like that? They haven't let me know anything. They haven't updated me since I spoke to them this morning. I've contacted them to get some information or to give them some leads, but I've heard nothing back. And Jen, there's no way that she just being, you know, a teenager was like maybe had a fight with you or an argument with you and was like, you know what, I'm going to go hang out at so-and-so's house and teach her a lesson. You know, th could that be a scenario? I don't believe so. We actually haven't gotten into a fight in like a few weeks or arguments or anything like that. If anything. You see how she goes from deep crying to just back to normal, like in, as if she just turned the page. As if she was never crying, as if she was never upset. I question what I call as crocodile tears, you know. I think on Sunday, she celebrated her 13th birthday with my entire family, and she had the best day. She was so happy. She showed us all her gifts. Um, she was, she's just a happy girl, and she showed it on, on Sunday night when she went to bed. She was so happy. So, you know, she had the best day. I just, you know, there was no, there was no moment in that evening from when she got home from the party that she had her phone or had the laptop. She went straight to getting ready and went to bed. So I know she didn't have any conversations with anyone. She didn't make plans with anyone. I didn't, I didn't see any of that. But she yeah. spent the whole Sunday celebrating her 13th birthday. Was her 13th birthday on that Sunday or that was just like the, the time you guys were celebrating? That was the time we were celebrating. Her birthday was on Thursday, the 22nd. She just so, turned 13. But that's just so heartbreaking to be celebrating her 13th birthday. And then the very next day, She's that's gone. the last you, you see her, you've seen her for. Yeah. You know, I was, I'm just trying to give you guys some context. Of course, this was the 26th, the day she went missing. Uh, we watched Jennifer Soto back then, and she just, her behavior is inappropriate. I think that's the best word to sort of use for it. She doesn't act the way a normal human being, a normal mother should act when she's told that a 13-year-old daughter is missing. She acts, she goes in and out of sadness and back just regular normal, like, is that from narcissism? Or is that from trying to protect Stefan Stearns? Why is that? Why, is, why? How does she pop back and forth into different behaviors? Why? How does she do that? Uh, I'm, you know, when we see this evil guy you see on the screen, it's just, it's just very difficult to believe that this happened, you know, and that she sort of, she was an enabler, just as Je, uh, Stefan Stern's, his parents, uh, his parents, Chris and Deborah, they're enablers too. They are still supporting him in jail, still sending him money to his commissary. Look, your flesh and blood is your flesh and blood. But if someone in your family did something this horrific, and Chris Stearns believes 
He's been shown the evidence. He believes all the charges. He turned in some things on his son. Can we believe Chris Stearns, or is he still trying to protect him? Can we believe Jennifer? That is an enabler. Enabled this guy to do what he did for as long as he did it for. I'm going to play a little bit more of his interview on the 27th and the 28th. Um, I'm so sorry. I'm giving my best recollections. I'm not a morning person. I'm not a morning person. So a lot of the times are best guess. Um, but we know that you go up Jong Young Parkway. Down, that's the, yes. the road you usually take um, yeah. to take her. And then you make a left at that McDonald's, right? Which is the yeah. town loop. You can make a left to get there either at the McDonald's or at town center itself. They both lead to the school. So if you leave her at, just so you get a sense of direction, Jong Young Parkway goes northbound and mm-hmm. southbound. So you're going northbound mm-hmm. into Orange County, making a left at the McDonald's, which is the town loop. You said when you did drop her off at that medium, you said it was around 8.20, 8.30-ish, somewhere Some, around that time. Somewhere in there, yeah. It was, it was early, but not like outrageous. 